<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle, aka Reinspired, and you are watching Reinspired TV. I am here with my co-host today, Sam. Hi. And my awesome cameraman, Crystal. <laughs> 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 so today we are at the soft opening of the new Bad Gal Vegan here in Brooklyn. Bad Gal Vegan is vegan Caribbean food re-inspired and they are the creators of the Voxtail which is vegan oxtail as well as Empress Pasta which is their version of Rasta Pasta. Mm. Have you ever had that growing I up? I not actually, no. I have not been exposed to much Caribbean food at all. Mm. So um, pretty exciting to you know, started off in a vegan way. Yay! Yeah. Have you have you ever had oxtail before? No, actually. Oh man. I think the only thing from this menu that I have had in non-vegan was I had Jamaican goat one time. Okay. Yeah, other than that, uh, this is all pretty new. Yay! Yeah. Oh my god, this is so great. I um, people have made like Caribbean versions of vegan food, especially in Brooklyn where there's a high population of Caribbean food, but I feel like it, it could be better. <laughs> That's mm. really it. I'm really excited because I, I grew up in Brooklyn, born and raised all my entire life. And originally I didn't like oxtail because in Filipino culture we have like oxtail with peanut sauce and I'm just not mm. a really big fan of things of peanut butter being used in weird ways. Yeah. <laughs> like, even, yeah. Even like, You're a peanut butter traditionalist. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I like yeah. that. I need that on a pin. That's what I need. <laughs> but I grew up with a lot of Caribbean friends and they showed me the ways that jerk oxtail needs to be. Mm. So today I am super hungry. I'm starving. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Crystal, oh, yeah. are you hungry? I am also hungry. Yay! Yay. Okay, so we have a big menu. We basically ordered almost everything we could. For starters, we have Aki spring rolls, and Aki is fish, and mac and cheese, of course, um, and then some stewed cabbage, because mm -hmm. we're trying to look vegan. Yeah. Kidding, yeah. kidding, we're all vegan here, sorry. <laughs> um, and then for entrees, we have, of course, the box tail that we wanted to get, the Empress pasta, and then the Yankee jerk burger with fries. The only thing they didn't have today because it is a soft opening is the curry goat. So their soft opening is happening on June 7th. So if you wanna try anything we eat today or the curry goat that we don't get to try, you gotta come here. Oh, they also have something called the festival. Yeah, seems to be like a cornbread type of situation, um, but looks delicious. And uh, I for sure will be coming back to try it at some point. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Just ordered 10 of those, just yeah. for carbs sake. Mm, yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> Food. Alright guys, we have everything. All the food is here. We have the rasta pasta, we have the box tail, we have the burger, we got mac and cheese, sauteed cabbage, as well as aki spring rolls. Oh, and then we also have um, the D&G Genuine Jamaican ginger beer. They also have champagne, and it's super good. Yep. But we also have water. Agua. And our reusable utensils. And we're gonna try everything. Cabbage first. Cabbage? Yeah, because like the healthy thing is vegetable first. We're just yeah. trying to be healthy. Maybe. Veganism. What do you think? It's good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Cabbage is so good. There's a black pepper in here. And I'm talking like a big black pepper. Like those balls that you're afraid of like oh, accidentally yeah. biting. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> Which is snack? Is this is a snack. Alright, go for it. It's super cheesy. Mm -hmm. Everything is perfectly coated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. It was a little hint of like spice. Mm -hmm. Nothing like too overwhelming. Nothing to like go like grab water for. Yeah. Just the right amount. Yeah. Ooh. This is this is definitely top three New York vegan mac and cheeses that I've had. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, especially with like that little bit of spice, I think that this could fool non-vegans. Yeah. I think non-vegans would would think that that was normal mac and cheese. It almost tastes like nostalgia. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Pop quiz, guys, in the comment section below. Is mac and cheese a side or a main? Next one, spring rolls. They are massive. Here's 
with a sweet chili sauce. Um, so ackee is like fish, so figure out if it tastes fishy. I wouldn't say it tastes fishy. There's like fried to perfection. I'm really glad that we got these <laughs> because I think if I was ordering for myself, I wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But they're actually really good. They are. I'm not really sure what's inside them. It looks like corn, onions. It almost looks like like egg. I could you yeah, not. Yeah, it looks like egg. But it's, it's definitely not. It doesn't taste like egg, but it's good. So this is the Yankee Jerk Burger. It comes with fries. It is smothered in sauce mm -hmm. in like the best way possible. Yeah. That's what it looks like on the inside. Smothered with sauce, really great bun. Oop, it's falling apart. It has a tomato and some lettuce on top. Perfection. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Got a kick to it. Oh yeah, the, the kick didn't hit me at first. Mm -hmm. It tastes, or at least reminds me of McDonald's burger. I don't know exactly what about it. Maybe it's just that it's like a sesame seed bun. You yeah. think it's the bun? I feel like it's the sauce. Like the sauce almost tastes like seeded sauce. Maybe, Maybe not. I think, well yeah, it's probably, I think it's like a mixture of the Everything. sesame seed bun with like the type of lettuce that it is. It's like that like shredded. Deliciousness. I never used to like eat lettuce before <laughs> being a vegan. <laughs> lettuce is so off limits. Oh. It's too vegan. Oh, and there's pickles. Pickles. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God, you know what this would be? If the Big Mac came in like a jerk flavor. Yeah. Woo! That heat, Eddie is sneaking up. It's not unbearable, but it like, it hits like, like the top of your mouth. Mmm, and the fries are good. I'm pretty sure they make their own burgers here. It stays together like really well. Mm -hmm. Like the pack, a lot of people that I talk to about vegan patties, the reason that like non-vegans don't wanna have a vegan patty is because they don't stay together as well. Oh. This one seems to survive. Oh, this is good. Mm, I did this. It's like that nice middle ground of like still being light, mm -hmm. but having a little bit more of like a creamy-ish, indulgent type of mm -hmm. sauce. Peppers are good. Yeah. This one is not so slicey at all. It does have like a kick to it. Like I can see like like red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. This is on the milder side in comparison to the burger. Yeah. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. The chef and owner China did create Empress Pasta. It is trademarked by her and everything. But the Vox tail is something that she's very well known for in the community. It looks like oxtail, but does it taste like oxtail? It also comes with rice and a little bit of a side salad. And the herbs are in there, y'all. Cheers. Oh man, that's weird. Wait a minute, y'all. It's literally like the layer of fat on top. It's it's super accurate with the meat on the inside. This is what it looks like. Like, what? Tell me that doesn't look like a layer of fat. But it's not. It's 100% vegan, it's 100% plants. And she's making her Caribbean family proud. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I like it a lot, but it's definitely like not eating meat for a while mm -hmm. to like bite into something that is so like reminiscent of meat. It's like, it takes you by surprise. Am I eating a vegan dish? Oh my God. That's why I like trying something like this at a place that is entirely vegan because mm -hmm. then you like, you have the comfort of being like, everything yeah. in the kitchen is vegan, you mm -hmm. know? It's very good. And it's got like, some like beans and stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm really about that also. A lot of good caramelized onions. The sauce is mixing with the rice. Mm -hmm. That's a key factor. Yeah. There is lettuce. I don't know if we'll eat that, but um, they're oh. trying to keep you healthy. They're trying to give you nutrients. There you go, Sam. So proud of you. Mm. I'll have like one. <laughs> How long have you been vegan? Like six months. Wow. But like mostly vegetarian for like probably almost a year. So like. I'm still like newer to the game, but like I'd never eaten ox before. <laughs> and I think like even when I did eat meat, I didn't usually do too many of like the like fattier ones. Mm -hmm. I was mostly like a like a poultrytarian. <laughs> like I was just eating like poultry. At the end of this week it'll be uh, it'll be six years. Wow. So I think that's a really yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Big anniversary coming up. Yeah. But even after being vegan for six years, like oxtail, I can still remember it. I feel like most people don't go vegan because they don't like the taste of meat. They go vegan for their own like personal ethical reasons, environmental, whatever. Now that there are so many like ethnic vegan versions of food, when I get a chance to try them, they kind of like just unlock this like hidden box in my head. Or it's just like, oh, you've had that before. And that's 100% this. And I think, I think this kind of food is necessary, honestly, because there is a lot of like memories, there's a lot of culture. There's, there's a lot 
behind food that's not just like sustenance and nutrients. Um, yeah. And that's not something like you want to lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think especially like moth meat are hugely helpful for transitioning also. You know, like when I first started, I was doing like garden chicken tenders mm -hmm. were like a big thing for me. And I would like make those into like other dishes. Like I'd make like chicken parm with mm -hmm. those. Cause it was just like, I spent so long eating meat and like centering meals around it that like, it took me a bit to like learn how to just like make a dish that was like whole food plant-based. Like those moth mm -hmm. meats were like a big thing. And then like, I think keeping with tradition, it's really important to have the types of things that remind you of that because that's what people yep. people will ask me all the time like do you miss eating certain meats or animal products and I'm like it's not that I miss eating that it's that I I miss the nostalgia that yeah. I associate with it mm -hmm. um so then when you have things like you know vegan mac and cheese and like foxtail it like allows you to connect those dots of like yep. your current vegan lifestyle with the nostalgic memories. Yum! I love it. How would you rate Bad Gal Vegan? 8 out of 10. 8 for like, it's really good and I would definitely recommend other people come for sure. Yum. Yeah. I would honestly say 9.5. It was really good. I will say like, this is something like I haven't, I haven't tasted in the six years I've been vegan. There was a lot of nostalgia, like eating her food, like everything. She's in the kitchen, like the chef who owns this, who created this, she's in the kitchen. She's making sure her food is made correctly. She's making sure it's made with love, with the right flavors and spices. Because a lot of this food, as you like, as you say, like with transitioning, it's not, it's not just for us vegans. It's for people who are looking for a better alternative that don't want to just lose that part of their culture. It's really great to, for them to come here and still like, have home before they create a version of their own at home. As a Filipino in New York, like that's that's very hard to find. So mm -hmm. it's it's great that she created this for her community, mm -hmm. especially in a part of Brooklyn that isn't like overly gentrified. Accessibility is so important. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to travel all the way to like Manhattan all the time for like yeah. good food. Um, and I hope that more restaurants like this pop up in in communities like mm -hmm. this where they can serve the people that they're meant to be serving. Like it's great, it's great for like Sam to come in and try new things. It's great for me as like a Filipino who have had this, who has had this uh, growing up because of, because of my friends. But it's great for my friends to see that they can have vegan options, but not lose the taste of their culture. So yeah. tell us what you think. I think my favorite items were the ones I didn't even think of ordering. I like the box tail. And mm. I like the rice and beans that came with it. Mm -hmm. But I'm Puerto Rican, so I love rice mm. and beans just generally. The spring rolls were really good too. Mm -hmm. And um, that was also good. I'm not a big fan of the black pepper balls. <laughs> Side. I don't think anybody is a real big fan of those peppers. I feel like that's just like the ultimate nostalgia. It's like, how much do you like your mother's food to risk biting into that gigantic pepper ball? My grandma put, put them in beans once and yeah. I'm so sad. I'm like, oh, oh no. no! This is my first time like really trying Caribbean food. Mm. I never really grew up with it, so it's good. I would agree with Sam, eight out of 10. Ooh. So 25 and a half out of 30. Yay. Yay. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I always love that you guys watch my videos and tell me what you love in the comments below. I'm sorry for everyone who keeps saying that my videos are making them hungry. Please don't watch on an empty stomach. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification button if you want to be alerted every single time they're posted. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at reinspired. I put that in the description down below as well as Sam and Crystal's Instagram so you can stalk them as well. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below which dish you want to try the most and if you've gone, what you thought about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have one more message from the Bad Gal team and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Awesome. Hi guys, my name is Nicole and I'm with Bad Gal Vegan and so we are a Caribbean vegan fusion restaurant. We are owned by the one and only Chef China, who is one of my dearest friends and she actually uh, created our famous vegan oxtail, which we call the Voxtail. So on our menu we have a, a diverse selection of Caribbean influenced vegan mm -hmm. options. Of course, we're known for our voxtail, our curry no goat, which is our version of curry goat. We're known for our empress pasta and especially our Yankee jerk burger with the BGV sauce, guys. It's unbelievable. We're here at 1114 Fulton Street, 
Brooklyn. Come check us out Monday through Friday, 1 to 9. You don't want to miss it. It's totally time for you to be bad.